Today, we're going over all the new features on the Funmat HT Enhanced from Intamps. So, the Funmat HT Enhanced is the second version of the Funmat HT from Intamps. It's gained a lot of recognition for being one of the only high temperature, actively heated chamber printers on the market. We like to say it's the most affordable peak and Ultim 3D printer on the market. This is the second version of the machine they've released. The first version back in 2017, and they released it with the heated chamber and the 450 Celsius hot end and the 160 Celsius bed. Now these are great features and they've just taken it to the next level with a couple new features. The first thing you're gonna notice is the auto bed leveling. We've been waiting for this one for a long time and I'm sure anybody else who has printed in peak or Ultim or these high temp polymers will agree it's very easy to burn yourself when you're manually leveling these build plates. Very good feature. We're super stoked to have this feature on there. And so far, it's been working great. When it goes down to level the bed, it actually moves the entire structure. It actually hits a little limit switch right there on the printer. And that's what tells it where it is. And mechanical switches obviously do a lot better than the heat. So that brings me to the second thing they changed, which is the actual hot end design. It's got an upgraded, much larger block it's got a totally different heater inside and it's got a PT100 thermocouple. Now these are special PT100s that'll go up to the levels that you need them to. We're reaching you know, 450 Celsius on these, a lot of these materials. The next part you'll notice is the heat sink has changed and this mounting bracket is completely different. So that brings me to the next thing, which is the ceramic glass build plate. They've replaced the borosilicate glass with ceramic glass. So you'll notice the build plate is actually jet black, very shiny, and it's made out of ceramic glass. Now what this does is it increases the thermal conductivity. So the whole plate gets hotter and stays hotter longer so that your prints are more consistent. It's also held on by magnets. So it's a little bit easier to remove when you're taking it out. And when you put it back on, it's gonna be seated right back where it was. Four, so your leveling should stay just fine. Now, the next part is the actual build platform. Previous machine, it had one leveling screw in the front and two in the back. Now, it's two in the front and one in the back, which makes it much easier to get to. Uh, but moreover, you'll only really have to use those ones because the auto leveling system takes care of everything else. Now, the build platform is very rigid. They've redesigned it out of aluminum, steel, and anodized aluminum. And then the platform itself, where you set the glass on, is actually spring-loaded. And there you've got a layer of carbon fiber, a layer of the silicone heater pad, and then a layer of anodized aluminum on top of that. And that whole platform springs up and down, so it's always tight up against the magnetically attached fill plate. There's also a bunch of other small little details they've upgraded, such as the windows are now dual pane with an air pocket in between. So you've got polycarbonate on the outside, and then an air pocket, and then glass on the inside. So you actually have much better insulation and it helps keep all the heat inside a lot better. The rails on the Z axis along with the ball screw have been upgraded to high wind brand, which is commonly regarded as the best money can buy. The leveling card is upgraded. It's now actually metal and it's pretty big too. So you got a 0.2 millimeter leveling card. So when it's hot or cold, you can go in there and level it manually. They've upgraded the Z axis limit switch for greater reliability. The wiring throughout the entire machine has been upgraded so that it handles higher heat better over time. They've replaced the drivers on the motherboard with four independent drivers. So instead of being right under the hot chamber on the motherboard, they put them over underneath the filament chamber in a completely separate space with a cooling fan pumping cool air in to keep those drivers nice and cool. You know, they've done a great job over the years of keeping it beefy. The whole thing seems just a little more well put together. I love the new build plate, just the way it slips in there. It seems to stay a lot hotter, a lot more reliably than other little things here and there. The finish is a little bit different. Everything's a little bit nicer. Uh, obviously, it's shiny and new and fantastic. We love it. So if you're looking for the most affordable Peak printer, then it's just been upgraded at the same price. If you were on the fence before, check it out. This is definitely a great thing to pick up. Exclusive with Vision Miner, you get one-on-one -on -one customer support. We are the only American-based service center. When you buy from us, you get an experience that can't be bought anywhere else. Thanks for watching. If you got any questions, feel free to reach out via email or phone, and we're here to help. Have a great rest of your day, and see you on the next video.